Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. Swear that this room has been running out of Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a brown smoky cat eye. These are just my kind of looks. I feel like I say this in every dramatic look, but seriously, this is just so me right here. And before I do start with this look, I do want to mention Ebates to you guys. This is a website where you can sign in for free, and I'm going to have a link down below in case y'all want to get cash back. I mean, who doesn't? The reason why I'm doing this look is because Sephora is having double cash back on Ebates, and I'm going to put somewhere in this video when it ends, but either way, I mean, even after that, you're still gonna get cash back. I think the places for me that I love is Sephora and Ulta, obviously, because I love makeup. Sephora is not the only store that's doing double the cash back, so go ahead and check Ebates out. Maybe you might find your favorite store I don't even know about. So what you can do is download the button, which I'm gonna have down in the description box. And basically, whenever you're on a website and that website gives cash back, that button's gonna pop up. So it just makes it a lot easier for you. And they also have an app, which I'm gonna leave down in the description box. I'm gonna have a link down below to Ebates if you guys wanna sign up. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I love you guys so much. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes. I'm gonna be starting off with the Too Faced Shadow Bomb Bonds palette. And I'm gonna be taking this color right here. It's a really pretty mauve. And I'm just gonna be applying this right on the crease. It's just gonna be working as my transition color. You can definitely use a warmer shade in this. That's the only thing I don't like about this palette is they don't have like a really warm light shade, you know what I mean? So I'm just applying this with a big fluffy brush. Since this is a cat eye, I'm gonna be extending the eyeshadow outwards like this. You can use tape, that will give you the perfect um, crisp cat eye. But if you don't have tape, just, you know, softly extend the eyeshadow outwards. Now I'm going to be taking this medium brown. And I'm going to be applying this right on the crease. This is going to deepen up the crease a little bit. We are going to be going in with darker colors. But it is going to kind of help it um, intensify it a little bit more. And I'm just going to, with every color extend outwards one thing that I always like to do is go in with that same fluffy brush that you use to apply the transition and with no extra product I'm just going in to blend out any harsh lines because you're definitely gonna get harsh lines doing this especially when extending out it's a lot more harder to blend I'm going to go back in with a medium brown and just build it up a little bit. Now with a smaller crease brush, I'm going to be taking this kind of chocolate cranberry color. That's what I like to call it because it kind of looks burgundy. And then I'm going to be taking this darker brown right here. And I'm basically just mixing those eyeshadows together. And I'm going to slowly start um, deepening up the crease. So I'm just applying this on the outer corner and stopping about halfway, this color you don't want to bring all the way in. You definitely want to extend this eyeshadow outwards as well. I'm also going to be taking those two shadows just in the outer part of the eyelid and just slowly blend it inwards. Now that we have that, I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush and blend some more. Then I'm going to be taking this brush and blending some more. I'm pretty much taking all the brushes that I used and just going back in there and just really diffusing everything. Okay, so now for the eyelid, I'm going to be taking this beautiful bronzy shade and I'm just going to be applying this right on the eyelid. And I'm going to stop about halfway, right about there where we stopped with the uh, brown eyeshadow. I am wetting this just a little bit. You could definitely use like eye drops or water if you do not have like Fix Plus. Then with another brush, I'm just going to go in and kind of blend it a little bit. 
And now for my eyeliner, I'm going to be taking this Ciate Chisel Eyeliner and just line my eyes. Now that we have the eyeliner, I'm just going to go ahead and coat the lashes with some mascara. And after that, we are going to go in with falsies. As you guys can see, lashes just make such a difference. You can skip this. To me, I feel like I have to put them on if I want like a really dramatic look. Today, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to be doubling two lashes. I usually do this, but... I feel like I'm really going all out because these pairs of lashes are very thick from the band and they're just already so full on their own but these two pairs of lashes are my absolute favorite and I thought why not double them so I doubled Coco Lashes in Foxy and Coco Lashes in Goddess I'm gonna start off by applying Foxy first So the Foxy Lashes are not that long, they're just going to give you a really full look and Goddess is going to give you a very long cat eye look. And I do like to lift the lashes before it completely dries. Um, I noticed with lashes sometimes they do go down so if you want them to be super full and like look more longer I guess, then just do this. I'm going to be taking some of the eyeliner and applying some more. I personally don't like when the glue peeks through, you know, we all don't like that. As you can see, this eye does look a little bit more dramatic. I want to show you guys the difference because I haven't applied black eyeshadow yet, but you can leave it like this. It looks really nice, but I did want to go with that very dramatic cat eye by deepening up the crease with a black eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Self Made Palette and I'm going to grab the color Spirit Rock and apply this right on that outer crease. This has been my favorite black. It is super duper pigmented. So I'm just applying this on the outer V. And I'm just going to work this in like halfway. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. And I'm going to extend this eyeshadow out just a little bit. Not too much. Just like where my eyeliner ends right there. And then I'm just going to go in circular motions and slowly blend out this eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go in with the other um, eyeshadow that I used. Notice it's not blended out that well yet. But I'm just going to take the edge of this and I'm going to start applying uh, more eyeshadows. That is going to give it a soft, crisp edge. A lot of you guys ask me why I do my eyes for my foundation. This is why. Mm -hmm. Now I'm taking this Shella Lace Highlighter and I'm going to be applying this right on the waterline. I kind of wanted to do black, but I don't know. I thought it would look nice with a nude. From the Too Faced Shadow Bomb Bombs, I'm going to be taking this skin tone color. And I'm just applying this on the waterline just to set the pencil liner because sometimes it does move around a little bit. Help it stay in place. So I'm going to go back in with this color and I'm just going to be applying this right underneath the lower lash line. And the good thing about doing your under eyes before your foundation and concealer is if you feel like you bring the eyeshadow down too low, you can just clean it up with a concealer. And then I'm just dragging this downwards just to make it seamless and blend it out. Now with an angled brush, I'm going to be taking Spirit Rock from the Anastasia Self Made Palette and I'm just going to be applying this directly underneath the lower lash line just to define it. And then when I get to the inner corner, I'm just going to go straight just by doing this, it's going to help the cat eye appear more cat eye-ish. <laughs> With that same eyeshadow, I'm going to blend it downwards just a little bit. Then I'm just going to go back in with the other brush and blend it out. 
I'm gonna go in just a little bit more with black eyeshadow and apply it, but this time I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna blend it out. With my Ciate Chisel Eyeliner Brush, I'm gonna be going in the inner corner of the eye and I'm just gonna drag that eyeliner inwards in the inner tear duct. Y'all see that? Now I'm going to be going in with some mascara. Now for my face, I'm going to be taking the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Coconut Primer. This thing is amazing. I think I've said that like a million times already. So I'm just going to be applying two pumps on my hand and just slap this on the face. I don't think you need two pumps, honestly. I just, I don't know. I like to go ham. So for my foundation, I'm going to be taking the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation in the color Fair. I do have a really favorite foundation right now that I've been using every single day, but I want to do a foundation routine for you guys. The last time I used this foundation, I used it in the color Light. I thought that was going to be my color because I've always been the second to lightest color in any foundation, but it's like way too dark on me, so I'm going to be trying Fair. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out with a Beauty Blender. I personally love very heavy, full coverage foundations, but honestly, I don't have much going on in my face. I do have like some bumps on my face right now because I did wax my face today But I'm just gonna be blending this foundation out with my beauty blender Now for my dark circles, I'm gonna be taking the Avon extra lasting concealer in the color fair I'm gonna be applying this underneath my eyes very carefully since I already did pretty much the lower lash line. Now to set the face, I'm going to be taking the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I have mine in the color Transparent Extra Coverage. You for sure want to apply this underneath the eyes. Basically where you apply the concealer just to set it. While my face was baking, I did draw in my brows. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. My brows just look extra when I use this. It's like impossible to get a natural brow look. So I'm just going to go in with this It Cosmetics number one brush and just slowly dab out this powder. So to contour my face, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Coco Contour Kit. I'm going to be taking these two colors. I'm just going to be applying this right underneath the cheekbones. Just kind of like bronzing and contouring at the same time. Now I'm just going to be applying this also on the forehead. And also right underneath the chin. I'm using the extra shadow that was just left on it. Then to blend it out, I'm going to be taking a beauty blender. To highlight my face, I'm going to be taking Champagne Glow by Becca. I'm going to take Champagne Pop and a little bit of Pearl and just apply this on the highest points of my cheekbones. Bam. I'm going to apply some on my nose, forehead, and chin. And also the keep it slow. 
And for my blush, I'm taking this one from Becca in the color Flower Child. I haven't used it in a while and it's actually a really pretty color. So I'm just going to be applying that right in between the highlight and bronzer. So I'm just going in with Butterscotch by Anastasia. This is like the perfect nude. You can go in with a matte lipstick if you want. Um, I personally love glosses. Alright you guys, that was it for this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because obviously it would mean the world to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.